all hope all is well today i'm going to be showing you how to create the smoky eye look this is uh this is a look that i would suggest is for parties or evening wear since it's just a little bit brighter soon i promise i will do the smoky uh, brown eyes a little lighter version this is more for evening wear for fashion shows shows wherever you're going and let's get started so as you always know when i'm doing any makeup I always have started with a clean face, moisturized face, same for my lips as well. Um, so we are going to start with a primer which I'm going to use all over my face. The one today we are going to be using is the Almay Smart Shade Luminous Primer. Just a few pumps and you're just going to apply it all across your face. Make sure you have enough all over your face this definitely helps with a smoother look also holds the foundation and the makeup in place for a longer time we're also going to be doing the same thing uh, for eyes i'm going to be using a primer and the one i'm trying today i'm going to be using and i'm actually trying this and super excited to try this is the urban decay anti-aging primer i'm just sampling this to see how it is working for me since my eyes are a little sensitive so far it's been great no complaints i am actually going to use this on my upper eyelids also of course where i'm going to highlight so obviously all over my eyes below my eyes same for this one this side everywhere it'll actually again help me keep my eye makeup in place for a longer longer time so this is done. So now it's time for us to do the eye makeup. So here's one thing I've recently started doing and has worked great for me is doing the eye makeup first, then the foundation. Just because it looks so clean and preps, you'll see the difference on this one. Plus sometimes when I'm doing uh, eye, mas uh, eye makeup or mascara, I, I sometimes tend to drop some things here. And then I have to clean up, then patch up my foundation. So it is better to do eye makeup first and then do the foundation. So for this, uh, I'm going to be using scotch tape and I'm going to be applying just right the corner of my eyes. See this? Right down, just this is the guideline, your lower water line. Same thing here. Make sure this is even, otherwise it's going to look really, really silly, right? I think they are fine, right? This is for people who are not used to uh, eye makeup or really worried that how it's going to land up. Uh, this works great, has always worked for me. Uh, so let's get started. For this look, we are going to be using one palette and this is my all time favorite right now. It's the Naked 2 palette. It's got beautiful brown shades beautiful ones um i used to love naked one um but honestly this has all the shades you need for any look i'm excited to uh, use naked three soon uh, naked three has a lot of mauve shades so i'm trying to see when i can get it and try some shades maybe during summertime so for this we're going to be using the naked two uh, but let's first get started by highlighting your brow area for this i'm going to be using the mary lou luminizer I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush, this kind of brush, and highlighting my brow area. Same for this one, right? Just about the crease as well. If you don't have this one and you think it's still expensive, I will provide you a substitute. Do look at the product list which has the list I've used in the demo. Also possibly where I can recommend a substitute. Once you've done it. highlighting your brow area, uh, we are going to start uh, with a lighter shade moving towards a darker shade. The first shade we are going to be using is a verb right here. And for that, I'm going to be actually using this angled small brush. Just dip it and I'm going to just put some of this right here. I'm actually going to tap it so I can have more. I 
I want to go almost a little bit over half. Same for the other side. Once I'm done with this, then I'm going to be using the medium shadow brush, which looks like that. And I'm going to be using the shade. Sneak bite. And I'm going to apply it just right over the middle, right? I'm just going to blend it here. right here once you're done with this you're going to be using the pointy brush this is how it looks and take the shade black out this is one of my most favorite black shade it looks beautiful uh, if you need more of a brown look you can use the bustard which is right next here i'm going to use a combination of both i'm going to take a little bit of it and actually draw a small line right here like a liner line and just blend that shade right in my brows. Sorry, right into my other eyeshadow. See this? Don't worry about if this is looking too harsh. We're going to eventually blend it together and make it look even. Same thing you'll do here. Draw the line and just blend. Bring that color right inside. It's brushing it inward, right? You see how I'm doing it? See that? Once I'm done with it, I'm going to go back and use my medium shadow brush. Take the shade Busted, which is right here. And then use this right where the black in it and the distant end, right? And just blend it in just to give a little bit of brown look. Just blend it, right? You see right here? You don't have to. You can totally skip this and keep it two shades. I just wanted a brown bronze look. So there you go. Once this is done it's with this um, flat medium shadow, or you can use the same one here. I'm going to dab again the verve to just add a little bit verve to this or depth to it, right? See this? Voila. There you go. Once this is done, what you need to do is, you see these lines, you have to blend these all in with a very um, medium shade. For this, we are going to be using the shade Tease. It's a more brown. And I'm going to go back and use my fluffy brush and take the Tease. And just where all the colors are, all the crease, I'm going to blend this color together. So there are no lines and they all look even and very nice. See this? So the secret is just moving it back and forth or swirling it. There you go. This will also help you merge that Mary Luminizer shade right into this color as well. So there you go. Now with the same pointy brush or something you can use the Foxy shade or the Mary Lou Luminizer. I'm going to use this, it's a beautiful champagne, and just add a little bit of color right at the edge of your eye, see? Just creates a very nice depth to your eyes, look at that. That's it, and then you're done, you actually go ahead and remove the solar tape. You see how clean it looks? Don't worry about this harsh line, we'll take care of it. Uh, you can use again the shadow brush if you want and just blend it a little bit There you go and now what we're going to do is we're going to use our uh, eye pencil the one I really recommend and I love is the 24 7 velvet by urban decay the shade we are going to use is the black velvet and just just draw a very nice line just above your eyelashes and upper 
water line. This actually just helps gives you gives your lash a little bit more depth, a little bit more uh, volume. It just gives that look to it. Once you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to use a liner, liner pencil. You can use a gel liner. For this demo, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Twilight Art and Fable Super Slim. This is not very easy to fly, so I buy it from Ulta. I just love it. And I'm going to draw a uh, nice line just over my uh, eyelash. I'll be uh, attaching uh, in my tutorial. I will also in the comment section. I will add the link for my eyeliner tutorial as well. So do check it out. See this? I'm just going to draw this. And where you had that cello tape line, I'm just going to blend that line right in. So it looks nice, right? There you go. Same thing on this side. A little bit wing look now I'm gonna go and um, use the now I'm gonna be actually be using the Urban Decay 24 7 this shade demolition and I'm gonna line my lower water line now this line has to be a little bit thicker just to give that smoky look right And the ends, I'll try to make it a little bit darker. If you don't have a brown, you can use the black as well. I'm just showing you with the brown liner, right? Now, once we're done with that, we're going to be start, uh, we'll start uh, the eye makeup. You can do at this point uh, the mascara as well. Because sometimes I drip my mascara right, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the mascara. The one I'm using is the Love Lash by Mary Kay. It's a very nice. I have sensitive eyes, so this works great for me. There you go. Don't forget your lower lashes. And there you go. Now we'll start with the foundation. For this demo, I'm going to be using, for today I'm going to be using the CJ Smoothers Makeup by CoverGirl. Take some. And with my brush 75 by Sephora. Kind of an angled look. I'm going to apply the mascara all over my face. As close to my Hairline as possible, right? Don't forget your jawline, your nose. Once you're done with this, now I'm going to use a concealer. If you see, I had some breakouts and I want to cover it up. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the shade Claire for my skin tone. Available mostly at Royal Air very easily. And I'm going to be the, doing the contouring for my face. Uh, one thing I do want to say, I will promise I will do a, a new tutorial which will be specific to uh, foundation and also contouring your face. So this is, I'm going to do this very, very quickly. Uh, so I'm going to be just creating like a cone look right here as 
where I have those with the same 75 number brush I'm just going to blend this in not entirely just remove the harsh line but this one I have to blend it right I know I'm looking very scary right now but I promise once this look is complete it will all blend in fine Once this is done, just make sure it's evenly, especially under your eye, is spread properly, right? Once this is done, uh, use the Ben Nye cream, Ben Nye powder, I'm sorry. This powder is not very easily available, so I actually buy it from Amazon. Totally worth every penny. Helps concealing very, um, you know, the concealer very well. So I'm, for this, I'm going to be using my uh, round brush. This is the 56 by Sephora. I'm going to take a little bit of the Ben Nye powder and just dab it right below my eyes. Just where I have the concealer. There you go, right? Once this is done, I'm going to be taking a press powder. The one I'm using for this demo is the Mary Kay press powder with a nice powder brush. I'm just going to Apply it all over the my face, exception of my, of course, my makeup, right? Don't forget your jawline, otherwise it's going to look silly, right? Done. Now, once this is done, I'm going to be doing the contouring. For this, I'm going to be uh, using my NYC um, bronzing powder. You can use a brown eyeshadow as well. I'm just going to be using this. I'm going to pout or pucker my face. When you see this depth, I'm just going to be adding the bronzer right here. This actually helps lift off your cheeks, the areas you really want to pop. And make sure you do it up to down you can use a brown eyeshadow for this um as i've said live on my nose goes on my side for this i will actually use my small fluffy brush right here done and so i'm going to use it and just adding a little bit of depth for my temples right once you're done once this is done, you can um, go back and use the Mary Lou Luminizer or any kind of luminizer. Uh, the one I'll suggest this is going to take this, again, pout, pucker your face, and I'm going to apply this right here, right above my cheekbone. And then I'm going to use the same brush and apply a very nice blush. The one I'm going to be using today is the cover called Cheekers. It's in rose silk, beautiful shade, will go with any skin tone. You take this and I'm going to use it lightly right between the bronzer and the luminizer. Don't want to have a very dull, so I want to make sure it's used very lightly. This is like slime. See that? Not too much, but also is giving. The same brush you have, um, make sure you just apply some right below your chin, uh, chin line, right? Done. Now, before finishing up, what I would suggest, you go back to the naked tip and then make sure you use a little bit of busted and use a flat brush. The flat brush, uh, I bought this actually, Sonia Kaushik or Elf, this one. And you're gonna use the busted. And actually draw a line right here to give that smoky look.
see that? There you go, guys. You have the smoky eye. No, wrong no. Now, when you have something like the, such kind of look, I generally like to stick with neutral color lipsticks, not to dark lipsticks. For this one, I'm going to be using a very nude lipstick. It looks decent. When you have dark eye makeup, I always uh, suggest that you have subtle uh, lipsticks, right? neutral lipstick and I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss to it right, there you go you have guys hope you try. love this look oh, guys the look is complete a few more things just quick tips um if you want this makeup to last for whole for a very very long time or the whole night i would suggest that you apply the setting spray this is by urban decay you just take this shake it up and just apply it all the skin i generally put an x on my face and that's it Really, this is water and glycerin just holds the makeup in place. Even if you're clubbing, partying, dancing, this will hold the makeup and won't have like a meltdown. Uh, if you're not big into foundation, you think they're cakey, do try the BB cream. Works for me. A lot of you have seen me and you know, you're surprised, but it's absolutely BB cream. I do not use foundation quite a lot unless I have a show uh, or some uh, something like a wedding. But if you do uh, want or something light, do try the BB cream. The one I really recommend is the Smashbox. I'm in love with this. Cannot get over this. And I hope Smashbox never discontinues this product. Do try it. Looking forward to some comments, suggestions. And I will see you guys soon. Ciao.